What's going on guys and welcome back. And as you guys can tell from the title, today is going to be a super fun one. Today I'm back and I'll be the show 18 and we're going to be fixing that Rays and Pirates trade, that infamous trade that the Rays just completely fleeced the Pittsburgh Pirates. So today we're going to be finding out if the Rays would still look pretty good with Chris Archer as one of their aces and how the Pirates would be looking if Austin Meadows and Tyler Glass now were still on that team. If you guys want to see more like this, want to see more throwback type rebuilds and things like that, then be sure to leave a like on it. Let's go for a thousand today. You guys absolutely killed it on that Chris Davis video. Let's see if we can get more of that support right here. And also in the comments down below, tell me what other type of throwback rebuilds you guys want to see on the channel because i mean we could straight up do this for days what if mookie Betts didn't go to the dodgers what if the orioles never traded manny machado what if the cubs built a dynasty after 2016 we got all sorts of things we could do so be sure to tell me that stuff down in the comments if you guys want to see any other videos like this but besides all that stuff i think we're ready to go in lb18 let's go ahead and get this thing launched and my god it's been a long time and for some reason what the heck i have to confirm my team again what the Yo, game. I know for sure I deleted this game for more space because I did not like LB18. I'll tell you guys that right now. I did not like this game. So I'm thinking I might have hit delete on this thing for more space and it probably didn't save anything. Yeah, there we go. We can either get taught how to play this game or we can learn later. I've been playing this game since like 2005, so I think I'll learn later. I think we're good or not. Okay. And it's Houston versus the Dodgers. I mean, come on, this just doesn't look great, does it? Like hindsight's 2020, but god dang, this does not look great. I get it, pitcher confidence, it's cool, bro. Just let me exit, god dang. Thank you, okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of Houston stuff because they won the World Series in 2017. My goodness, okay, yeah, I'm a level one bronze. It did not save anything, dude. Not a single thing. That's fine, everything still looks the exact same, by the way. Just gonna point that out. I'm not trying to throw and be the show under the bus, but everything looks the exact same. And it's been like, what, two years? I think it'll be 21 we could definitely use a refresh okay definitely use a refresh literally one minute later oh wait a second my stuff loaded look at that i'm a level 18 diamond my god that's pretty sick and then i look over here and we see immortals okay bro really immortals in this game if you guys play diamond dynasty you know you freaking know again we're not trying to play diamond dynasty that's not what we're doing right here we got a lot of other stuff we got to worry about but real quick i'm gonna go ahead and try to do something i'm gonna try to get a good roster here i should be able to get osfm yeah there we go all right perfect let's go ahead and get the riding rosters right before the 2018 draft that should be perfect and now I think we can go ahead and start this thing. This is about to be nutty. We got the Rays right here coming off of 2017, 28th overall right now. They're in the World Freaking Series right now. That's how crazy this game can be. And not just zombie the show, I'm talking baseball in general. And what the heck are the Pirates? The Pirates are 26th. Okay, dude, that is some massive cap, bro. The Pirates actually ranked higher in 2018 than the Rays. You hate to see that. But I think for this video in particular, I'm gonna go ahead and control the Rays and I'm gonna control the Pirates. And ideally, if we could do this, I'd like to see them meet up in the World Series. If we could, I'll rebuild both teams and see if we could do that but I don't know. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. The problem is we do have GM contracts. So we got to make sure that we get contracts from both teams. Got to make sure that we keep that because we only have three years. So here we go. The first rebuild on LB18 in a long, long time. Let's get this thing going. First thing on the raise that I see is Chris Archer. Of course. Oh my God. Yo, look how crazy this actually looks. It legit looks so different. I know that's normal just because there's been two other games since then, but still it looks so different. And in actuality, it's just the font in the background. That's kind of about it. And the way that the graphics look, but still it's the same type. Either way, I'm not going to worry about it. That's for a whole different video. But on the raise, we got Chris Archer, Blake Snell, Jacob Faria, Nathan Ovaldi, and Matt Andres in the rotation. This is a gigantic throwback. In the bullpen, we got a rookie Ryan Yarbrough, a rookie Yanni Chirinos, Wilmer Font, by the way, Chaz Rowe, Jose Alvarado, Ryan Stanek, Johnny Venters, and Sergio Romo. What does this lineup look like? I got to take a look. Oh my God. Yeah, never mind. I can see why the Rays were ranked 28th. We got Malik Smith, Matt Duffy, Wilson Ramos, CJ Crone, Kevin Kiermeyer, Carlos Gomez, by the way, Brad Miller. Joey Wendell and Adeni Echeverria. My guy Willie Adamas was still in AAA. They didn't even have a majority of these guys. Brandon Lau, by the way, was a 62 overall in double A. Brandon Lau, postseason excluded, was the best player on the Rays in 2020. And in 2018, this man's a 23 year old, 62 overall C potential. That's disgusting. So we definitely got a gigantic look at the Rays. Let's take a look at these Pirates now. We got, all right, Felipe. I'm not even gonna, no, just no. Nah, we're good. There we go. We got Saul Marte, Jameson, Gregory Polanco, Josh Harrison, Corey Dickerson, Trevor Williams, Josh Bell, Avon Nova. I mean, I will say a decent majority of these guys are still on the team. Like they still got Jameson. They still got Gregory Polanco. They still got Adam Frazier, Trevor Williams, Josh Bell. Like there's not a gigantic amount of players that are gone right now, which is actually kind of nuts if you think about it. But hey, real quick, look at this. We got a 24 year old Tyler Glass now, and he's a 68 overall. Not to mention if we go over to center field, we got a 22 year old 66 overall 
Austin Meadows. I can already tell. This is going to be a boatload of fun. I hope you guys are ready. I think we go ahead and start with the Pirates just because they have a majority of these people on the team. So let's go ahead and see how they do in 2018. I can already tell you right now, it's not going to be incredibly great. I'll just say that. But what we're actually going to be looking for is how they do in 2019 and 2020. That's going to be the gigantic thing. Basically, we're just trying to see what would happen if the Pirates never got rid of those two insanely good guys for Chris Archer. Because, I mean, hey, again, hindsight 2020, but we all know how that went. It did not go great. And here we are, July 31st of 2018. This time, we're not going to be making any stupid trades. This time, the Pirates are keeping their boys. We got Austin Meadows right now doing fantastic so far. And then also in the bullpen, we got Tyler Glass now doing phenomenal, by the way. Look at that. He's had 74 innings, 48 strikeouts. We definitely got to get that up a little bit. But a 2.8 on the ERA. And if we go over to my other team, the Rays, let's take a look and see how Chris Archer is doing. And I can't even see him in the rotation. That's a horrible sign. This man got demoted straight to the bullpen. You hate to see that. How's he doing? Oh my God. The man's three and three, 64 innings pitch, 67 strikeouts with a 5.04. I mean, that's legit what Chris Archer was kind of doing when he got traded. That's why the trade straight up made no sense. Also, if we take a look at that other trade line, the Pirates are 38 and 69 and the Rays are 47 and 59. They're both somewhat close. The Rays are right now on the bottom of the AL East. And of course the Pirates are gonna be on the bottom of the NL Central. So there we go. Now I got roughly three years to build them both up to try to make them meet in the World Series. Again, that is close to impossible, but I gotta try to do it for the video. So in order for me to do that, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and get some trades going for both these teams. Now. I will say I'm not going to be moving anybody that's on their modern team right now, unless they're absolutely sucking. I'm going to have to move them if they suck. But besides that, I'm going to try to keep it as realistic as possible, at least as much as I can do in Elm with the Show. So yeah, let's see what happens. Let's start with the Rays real quick. Let's go ahead and get some offense going. Literally one minute later. Okay, dude, I forgot how broken this game was. Look at this. I'm legit so close to doing a one for one trade for Krisha Yelich, and I'm only sending over Malik Smith. That's it. I could probably incorporate another garbage prospect in here and actually get my dude, Christian Yelich. Let's go Jose De Leon. And there we are. We can get Christian Yelich on the raise. When I say I didn't like this game, I think you guys understand now. And real quick, it's not like he's not doing good. He's got a 331 with 12 home runs out of 108 games. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do this before they change their mind because they're being so stupid. They're legit being the Pirates right now. I swear to God, they're 1000% being the Pirates right now. Let's just go ahead and get this trade done. Malik Smith, Jose De Leon for Christian Yelich and Brent Suter. There we go. Good deal. Oh my God. Also in this game, why does Yelich look so dead inside? Can we get a wellness check, please? Oh my guy. I'm afraid to turn off the lights after seeing that face. Like for real, I'm afraid to turn off the freaking lights. Either way, gigantic bat that we just brought into the Rays team. Now for the next trade, we're going to go ahead and get rid of a Denny Echeverria real quick for probably a first baseman. And for the next trade we're going over to the White Sox and you guys can already see we got a Denny Echeverria we got Christian Arroyo and we also got Johnny Field for Luis Roberts and Jose Abreu can I please just get an F in the comments for the LMB 18 trade system please now I will say I'm not going to be unfair I get it we're two years in advance and there's a lot that can happen in two years I 1000% understand in some alternate universe we got Christian Arroyo turned into an absolute stud we got a Denny Echeverria winning MVPs we got freaking Johnny Field winning rookie of the years I get it I get that all of this could be 100% percent just taken the wrong way, but come on. Luis Robert and Jose Abreu, two of the best players on the White Sox in 2020 for a Denny Echeverria and Christian Arroyo who, I mean, where the heck are they? I mean, that's just crazy. I'm still going to take it because it's hilarious, but there we go. Hey, yo, look at this. We got a 19-year-old Soto who's a 71 overall. Yeah, 2018 was the year that he got brought up. That's crazy, dude. Also, Bryce on the Nationals, that's kind of nuts too. All right, I think that's going to be enough trades for the Rays. Let's go to the Pirates real quick. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff going real quick. And I think for this, I'm going to try to go for a starter real quick. We got Nick Kingham and Jordan up well, let's try to get somebody insanely good for these guys and let's take a look and see what the heck we could get and there we go the trade that we got going over we're going to be getting shane bieber and trevor bauer i will say i like making trades in this game with that 2020 vision i do like that because i know trevor bauer turned out to be a stud and i know shane bieber especially turned out to be a stud too so let's see how these guys do again we're getting shane bieber and trevor bauer for nick kingham jordan luffalo and kevin newman so there we go Get that, and there we are. All right, now that we've got Trevor Bauer and Shane Bieber coming up here now, we should be okay for just a little bit. Again, we're mostly gonna be building through probably the free agency, and maybe in 2019, but besides that, we're just keeping it the way it is right now. And the trade deadline has officially passed, and the Rays and Pirates did not make any stupid trades whatsoever. So let's see how the heck it works out for both of them. Coming into the end of the season with the Pirates, we finish off 66 and 96. For the Rays, what do we finish off at? Let's take a look. With the Rays, we finish off 75 and 87. Big RIP. Let's take a look though real quick on how everybody did. We got Kevin Kiermaier at the top, by the way. 21 home runs, 83 RBIs, and a 306. I wish. I straight up wish. At third base, we got Matt Duffy doing pretty good. First base, we got Jose Abreu doing good. 38 home runs, 102 RBIs, and a 300. Next up, Christian Yelich. Again, fantastic. Wilson Ramos. 
Not the greatest, but what are you gonna do? It's a catcher. And right field, we got Carlos Gomez. This man posts up 10 home runs in a 206. I mean, that's roughly what he did actually in 2018. I gotta be real. The H1 got Brad Miller. He did pretty good. Joey Wendell as well did okay, but again, I'd like to see that average go up. And then Willie Adamas did not have the greatest start to his career. How about this pitch rotation? How are we looking here? Chris Archer, again. Ugh. Blake Snell did very good. Jacob Faria, yikes. Nathan Avaldi, I mean, whatever. And then Matt Andrees. Again, not great. Not the Rays rotation that we know now. The bullpen coming in, we got Brent Suter, did fantastic. Ryan Yarbrough, not the greatest. Yanni Chirinos, very good. Johnny Venter's horrible. Chaz Rowe, fantastic. Ryan Stanek, fantastic. Sergio Romo, fantastic. And then Jose Alvarado, again, would like that ERA to go down. But besides that, I mean, what are you going to do? Now let's take a look at these Pirates. Let's take a big old look real quick. Adam Frazier did pretty good for the second baseman. Austin Meadows had a fantastic young start to his career. 10 home runs, 30 RBIs, and a 293. Fantastic, baby. Future is looking bright right here. Next up, Sterling Marte did all right. Heading forth, we got Corey Dickerson. I would like that average to go up. I think it will go up eventually, but still... Not the greatest look. Polanco as well, a 230, big yikes. Josh Bell, again a 230 almost, big yikes. But the home runs in the RBIs are very good. I have no clue why he's hitting in the sixth spot. I'd rather have him fourth. Colin Morin definitely did all right. Jordan Mercer did very good for what? Him being 31 years old? Yeah. Not to mention he's not a power guy yet. He hit 14 home runs. That's pretty solid for your shortstop. And then Francisco Cervelli did pretty solid as well. Now, the rotation. Let's take a look at this. Trevor Bauer finished off fantastic. Jameson finished off decent, but again, would like that year to go down. Tyler Glass now. This is the big thing right here. Let's take a look. Finish off fantastic. 131.2 innings, 110 strikeouts, and a 3.2 for his rookie season. Also, how'd Shane Bieber do? Shane Bieber, not the greatest. Okay, he'll get better. I believe it. He'll get better, but still not the greatest. All right, here we go. The 2018 playoff bracket. We got Cleveland versus Houston. We got Boston and Toronto in the wild card. We got LA versus the Cubs. And in the wild card, we got the Brewers versus the Phillies facing the Nationals, possibly. Let's take a look at this. I want to see who's going to win the World Series because in 2018, it was the Red Sox versus the LA Dodgers. So who the heck is going to get in here now? The Dodgers and the Cubs were tied up 2-2. Looks like down below, the Red Sox ended up getting beaten out by the Yankees. And it looks like the Dodgers got beat up by the Cubs. Wow, okay. Let's keep this thing going a little bit. Keep it moving. Looks like the Cubs are actually gonna make it back in. Wait a minute. Oh my God, I swear to God, don't do it. They choked the 3-1 lead. Are you kidding me? They legitimately choked it. Now it's the Nationals versus the Yankees in 2018. Now who the heck is gonna win this one? The Nationals are up one game. Never mind. the Yankees brought it back. Nationals are up 2-1. 3-1. Okay. And the Nationals beat the Yankees in 2018. What the heck just happened? God dang, congrats to the Nats, but Jesus, what is going on? All right, either way, here we go. For agency time now. For the Pirates, really the only guy I'm going to sign back is going to be Jordan Mercer. And then for the Rays, we got Wilson Ramos, Sergio Romo, Nathan Ovaldi, Carlos Gomez, and Johnny Venters. I'm probably going to sign back Wilson Ramos just for another year. Sergio Romo, I mean, he did good. I might as well just bring him back. Screw it, why not? Ovaldi, I really don't want to bring him back. I'm not going to lie. So I'm not going to sign him. Carlos Gomez, not going to sign him back. And Johnny Venters, not going to sign him back. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and get to the actual offseason. Here we go, baby. Here we go. All right, the first thing for the Rays I want to get is going to be a right fielder. So please let me find something decent. And there's Nick Markakis. Okay. Yeah, definitely not the greatest outfield for us right now. Is anything good? We got Brian Dozier. Okay. But anything else? No, this actually is a horrible offseason. The only good people that we got is Patrick Corbin, Andrew Miller, David Robertson, Zach Britton, and Craig Kimbrell. But besides the pitching, it's just straight up Brian Dozier and Daniel Murphy. That's it. So this is actually looking a little rough. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to get Daniel Murphy for one season in the Pirates. I highly doubt he's going to sign that contract, but screw it. And also, I might have to sign back Josh Harrison if Daniel Murphy does not sign with us. And then for right field, I really don't want to go out and get Carlos Gomez again. So I'm going to sign Nick Marcakis. Again, not good, but you got to do what you got to do. And then pitching, who the heck do I want to replace Nathan Ovaldi with? Let's get. Oh my God, wait a minute. I can get Charlie Morton. This might be too good. I know he's not going to play like the actual Charlie Morton, but come on. I mean, that would be way too funny. Let's get him on a two-year deal with a club option. There we go. For a lot cheaper than what the Rays actually signed him for. I will say that. And then one more guy that the Rays are going to try to go for is probably going to be Zach Britton if I can try to get him. All right, so for the Pirates, we got Daniel Murphy possibly coming over. And then for the Rays, we got Zach Britton, Charlie Morton, and Nick Markakis. That should be all right, at least for a little bit. And it looks like Daniel Murphy ended up accepting the Nationals offer. Okay, that's not the greatest. Well, I guess we got to go ahead and get Josh Harrison back. So let's go ahead and get him. There we go. But besides that, again, we should be all right. And the Red Sox just signed two of the biggest free agents. Great. But again, we should be all right just because of how bad this offseason actually was. Like there was nobody that we could actually upgrade for this team. So we're just going to go ahead and keep this thing moving in 2019 and probably build up a couple more guys through trading. 569 seconds later. All right, here we go. 2019. We still got pretty much the exact same looking team for the Pirates. And then for the Rays, we got a couple new guys. We got Brandon Lau up here now. And then for the rotation, we also got Charlie Morton and Diego Castillo. But besides that, we're ready to go for 2019. Let's just hope that we can continue to do good. 
Again, this should be the season that the Rays end up making the postseason. Now, granted, that's with Tyler Glass now, and that's also with Austin Meadows, so I don't know. This is going to be the big year. If I had to guess, though, they're definitely not making the postseason. All right, right now with the draft, the Rays are 24 and 37. Let's take a look at the Pirates real quick. How are they looking? The Pirates are looking 28 and 32. The Pirates are looking better. I know it's super close, but the Pirates definitely are looking better. And here we are at the trade line of 2019. The Rays are 46 and 60. If we go over real quick to the Pirates, the Pirates are 56 and 51. So the Pirates are looking a lot better. And as you guys can see, Tyler Glass now is doing good too. Again, it makes some decent sense. I think the pitching rotation for the Pirates is locked down. With Glass not doing good, he's an 81 overall now. People like Jameson Talon in the rotation, Trevor Bauer, things like that. You know, we're looking good. I will say that we desperately need a lefty. So let me go ahead and get that real fast for the Pirates. Let me try to get Taylor Rogers real quick. We should be able to. Let me send over someone I'm probably never going to use. And that's actually going to be Taylor Hearn. So there we go. We're going to be getting Taylor Rogers because we desperately, and I mean desperately, need that lefty. But now going back to the Rays, we still got some issues here. I will say the bullpen's not horrible, but we desperately need another upgrade for pitching. I'm thinking that we go ahead and get rid of Jacob Faria and probably a pitching prospect for somebody good. Let's go Jacob Faria and Brent Honeywell and try to get somebody insanely good. Literally one minute later. And come on, this game can't be serious. We're going to be able to get Jacob deGrom, the best pitcher in the NL, if not the MLB, for Jacob Faria, Brent Honeywell, and Ryan Weber. Again, I hate to ask for comments and things like that, but can I please, please for the love of God, can I get an F in the comments? Just another one, like a separate one. Because come on, bro. Jacob deGrom for Jacob Faria, Brent Honeywell, and Ryan Weber. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there we go. We just got the best pitcher in the entire game. Whatever. You know, whatever. All right, besides that for the race, I think I want to go for a better right fielder. Let's go ahead and try to find one real quick. It should be pretty easy, but again, you have no clue in this game. And never mind, I could actually go ahead and get Mitch Hanniger. So that's perfect. Easy peasy. So now the Rays offense is looking a little bit better over at right field with Mitch Hanniger in there now. I will say everything else though still looks good. Again, the Pirates right now are second place in the NL Central. Let's actually try to make these playoffs right now. Come on, boys. Let's get it. Come on. Come on, please. Oh my God. Wait a minute. The Rays finish off 82 and 80, but what about the Pirates? 85 and 78. We both missed the playoffs. God dang it. What we lose by a game? Straight up? A game? Legit half a game. Not even a game. Okay, dude. All right. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Legit at half one. What? Four and a half innings? We lost by that? Are you kidding me? I'm kidding, but still, that's so dumb. Half a game, really? You're going to look me in the face and tell me half a game back for the 2019 Pirates. Either way, let's take a look at everybody. We're looking great so far. I will say that. Josh Bell finished off 32 home runs, 85 RBIs, and a 265. This guy's killed it so far. Corey Dickerson, again, I told you guys he was going to have a very good season, and what do you know? He went ahead and did that. Kyle Morton, very good, actually. And then Awesome Meadows, not the greatest second season. I'm I, mean, I get that the guy didn't fully start, but also, you know, I mean, he played a lot of games, so he didn't do the greatest. I will say that. Rotations now. We got Jameson Talon did fantastic. We got Tyler Glass now did fantastic too. Man had 211 strikeouts. This dude fully became a goat. Joe Musgrove did very good. Trevor Williams did very good. And Chad Cole, not so much. But Shane Bieber, on the other hand, very good from Shane Bieber. So the Pirates, again, looking very good. Now let's go over to the Rays real quick. Blake Snell finished off very good. Jacob DeGrom finished off fantastic, of course. Chris Archer actually finished off pretty good too. Charlie Morton, again, finished off pretty good as well. Ryan Yarbrough, though, didn't really finish off the best. The bullpen now, Brent Suter, again, could have been better. Yanni Chirinos, very, very good. Wilmer Font, very, very good. Jose Alvarado, for only 20 innings, it's not really the biggest sample size, but for what he did, fantastic. Diego Castillo pitched nine innings, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Trevor Rosenthal, pretty solid. Chaz Rowe, 14 innings, again, whatever. And then Sergio Romo, very, very good for the closer role. It had to be the lineup, right? Had to be. Kiermaier compared to last year, not great, but for Kiermaier in 2020, fantastic. At third base, Matt Duffy, I mean, that's pretty much like the Matt Duffy type stat. He's always going to do pretty solid for you. Left field, we got Christian Yelich, again, very solid from him. Jose Abreu at first base, very solid. Mitch Hanniger, very good. Wilson and Ramos very good. It's just people like Willie Adamas, Joey Wendell, and Daniel Robertson didn't really do that great. But I don't really see why the Rays were so far back in the AL. I mean, they're the ninth best team right now, so I don't understand why they're fully so garbage, I guess I could say. Either way, I don't know. Let's go ahead and keep this thing going. None of the teams ended up making the postseason, sadly, but let's take a look and see what 2019 is going to finish off with. We got the Cubs versus the Yankees, and the Cubs end up winning. That's actually insane. What the heck? All right, offseason time now. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. We got Wilson Ramos. I actually liked Wilson Ramos, so I'm going to go ahead and keep him. Jose Abreu, once again, very good. Going to keep him too. Charlie Morton, going to exercise that option. And then Trevor Rosenthal, again did very solid. I'm going to go ahead and get him as well. Now going over to the Pirates. 
We got Starla Marte. Wow, this is gonna be a big contract. Okay, gonna go ahead and sign him back. $35 million over three years. Let's go ahead and hope that he'll take that. Next up, Francisco Cervelli. I mean, I could get him back for just a season. Might as well. The bullpen, we got Kevin Segrist. Might as well sign him too. And left it, we got Dickerson for 8.6. Wow, okay. We're gonna have to spend some money this year. And then last but not least, we're gonna go with Yvonne Nova. The only guy that's not gonna be getting a contract is Josh Harrison. Now let's hope that the 2020 offseason is gonna be a lot better than the garbage of 2018. Let's see. It should be. There we go. It, oh, it definitely is. It definitely is. We got Nolan Arenado. We got Garrett Cole. We got Anthony Rizzo. We got Billy Hamilton for some reason. We got Brandon Morrow, Jonathan Scope. Yeah, this is definitely better. So starting off first with the Pirates, we got Scooter Jeanette and Didi Gregorius going to be coming over, hopefully. I feel like both those guys would be perfect fits for us, especially since we need a shortstop right now. And then for the Rays, I haven't really gone into it just yet, so... Let's see what the heck we could do for the Rays here. I'd say for the Rays, the only two guys I'm going to go for is Brandon Morrow and Liam Hendricks. That's really about it. Because if we look at the trade talks, now granted, this is not necessarily the greatest thing to kind of like gauge your team off of, but it's not bad. And it looks like for this, based off the other 30 teams, the bullpen absolutely sucks, which is kind of stupid if you think about it. Our bullpen by the guys performing is not horrible. Overall wise, yeah, it's garbage. But besides that, the guys performing are pretty solid. But I'm just going to go ahead and get two bullpen upgrades because why not? It really won't make that big of a deal. And let's see how we do. Liam Hendricks going over the Rays. Perfect. The Reds. Sox get Garrett Cole. I mean, come on. The Angels actually got and get Nolan Arenado. Holy crap. The Mets get Rizzo. The Rays ourselves get Brendan Morrow. But what did the Pirates get? Did we get everybody that we wanted? Yeah, we did. Didi and Scooter Jeanette. Beautiful. You know, why not real quick? Might as well just go out and get one guy off the bench. Let's go get Logan Forsythe. All right, we're good for 2020. Let's go ahead and hop into this. Actually, psych. Wait one second. We got JT Ramuto that did not get arbitration from the Marlins. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag my mans real quick for five years on a contract that's legit 2.6 million dollars a year for JT Romuto in 2019. Yeah. Okay. Get Let me get him real quick. No, no. He goes to the Yankees. That is so bad on a contract. That's worse. JT, you idiot. What are you doing, bro? Come on. JT, I gave you more money, my guy. And you went to the Yankees. Really? I feel bad for the Rays at that point because they got to face the Red Sox who just got everybody, including God on their team. I mean, God dang these poor Rays. It's a good time to be the Pirates though. I'll tell you that much. It's a great time to be us. Either way, let's go ahead and get this thing going. 2020. Let's Let's see how we do. 2020 is going to be the final year, by the way. I'm pretty sure for our contracts, too. So both teams got to perform insanely good. And then directly after I start saying that, the Red Sox go out and get Sean Manea just to add insult to injury. Okay, I feel bad for the Rays. They're so dead. They're legit so dead. But the Pirates right now are 19 and 12. So we're looking pretty good there. I'm really loving this Pirates team that we put together. Here we go. Coming up on the trade deadline, the Pirates are looking better than ever, baby. Better than ever. 64 and 45 for the Pirates. Now the Rays are 55 and 56. It's a little bit different. And real quick, we're back in the Rays and we're gonna go ahead and get one guy real quick. Also, Charlie Morton at 91 overall. Are they high? He's doing garbage this year. Is this game legitimately high? I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it, but what the heck. We're gonna go ahead and send one more fun and Ryan Stanek over to the Marlins to try to get Nick Anderson, just like the Rays did in real life. And it turned out to be a fantastic trade for them. Let's see if the Marlins are gonna be dumb. And actually, if we go over to the Marlins real quick, my dude isn't even on the Marlins. So let me find him. Nick Anderson, he is on the twins right now. Okay. Well, that just made my job a lot easier. Wilmer Font going over for Nick Anderson. And then real quick, besides that, we're going over to get an absolute god real quick and Seth Lugo, and then we're good. That's it. Also, I was able to get Seth Lugo for legit Ryan Stanek and one other garbage pitching prospect. Not even a prospect at that point. He's 28 years old, and I was able to get Seth Lugo, who's doing that good. This game's so broken on so many different levels, but I love it. All right, Nick Anderson, here we go. Get up there, baby. Let's see how you do. Let me throw you to the wolves real fast. Like legit. Let me throw you to the actual wolves. And also, you know what? Since we can, I'm going to go ahead and trade Matt Duffy over for Whit Merrifield. Because why not? So there we go. Now we got Whit Merrifield that's going to be playing third base for us. Actually, you know what's true that? We're going to keep Whit Merrifield over there, but we're going to send over Joey Wendell to third base. Now we're looking a little bit better. Let's just hope that we can actually do good. Because again, I'm not trying to get fired. So I gave the Rays Christian Yelich, Luis Robert, Jacob DeGrom, by the way, Jose Abreu, and then of course, Mitch Hanniger. And if we get fired, that is some absolute garbage. And we got one of the most ungrateful owners I've ever seen. So here we go. Late September, we're coming in. It looks like we're choking quite a bit. How we finish off? 85 and 78 and the Rays don't make it in, but oh my God, the Pirates. Oh my sweet Jesus. 102 and 60. The 2019 Pirates. Actually, the 2020 Pirates. I'm sorry. The 2020 Pirates finish off 102 and 60. What? Taking the straight up division on them real fast. Oh my God. How did everybody do? Jameson, fantastic. Trevor Bauer, fantastic. Tyler Glass, now very good. Joe Musgrove, 
fantastic, and Trevor Williams, very, very good too. My goodness, I can't breathe. Who the heck are we gonna be facing? It's either gonna be the Cubs or the Giants. And also, real quick, the Rays got beat out by one game, and we're the fifth overall team in the entire MLB. We're just getting screwed over because if we take a look, we got the Red Sox at 101 and the Yankees at 91. So, I mean, if we get fired from the Rays, that's just freaking dumb, but what are you gonna do? Let me go ahead and take a look real quick at this Red Sox team, and it's all gonna make sense to you guys. So, there we are. We got Chris Sale, Garrett Cole, Brian Dozier, Craig Kimbrell, Xander Bogarts, Andrew Benatendi, Sean Manea, Mookie Betts, who's a 91 overall, not even close to the top right now, David Price, Raphael Devers, all sorts of people. So we definitely did not get lucky with the Rays right there. But that's besides the fact we got the Pirates right now in the postseason. We're gonna be facing the Cubs right now for the NLDS. Let's get this thing going. Jameson versus Francis. Let's get it going, baby. Come on. There we are, one nothing. Game two, Trevor Bauer versus Kyle Hendricks. Lost that one, but Kyle Hendricks, again, is a complete stud in this game. Next up, Tyler Glassnell versus Hugh Darvish. Here we go, baby. Lost that one 15 to six. What the heck, Tyler? What happened, bro? Okay, Joe Musgrove versus Jose Quintana. Won that one. And then going over, we got Jameson versus Francis, please. There we go. Oh my God, we're actually facing the Dodgers now. NLCS time for the Pirates. The 2020 Pirates. Okay, Trevor Bauer, Julio Arias. Lost that one. Alrighty. Joe Musgrove versus Walker Bueller. Lost that one too. Tyler Glass now for game three versus Kenta Maeda. Won that one. Trevor Bauer versus Clayton Kershaw. Got destroyed. Jameson Talent versus Ross Stripling and got decimated. Yeah, Dodgers are winning this one, 100%. They're winning it. And there you go. Dodgers versus the Red Sox and the Dodgers won. All right, now's the moment of truth. Did we get our contracts back? Did we? Or, oh my God, I'm an idiot. I was a year off. I was legitimately a year off. Okay, we're going for another season. Thank God, actually. Legitimately, thank God. Because I was for sure going to get fired by the Rays. I didn't do the math wrong. We just, for some reason, didn't get to choose because we straight up auto-signed a contract. We're in year one of three now. So we re-upped on both teams for another three years. Alrighty. Well, I mean, we're going to go for one more either way, but still. We got the 2020 free agents coming in now. And legitimately for both teams, there's really nobody else that we need. For the Pirates, we're going to be getting Trevor Bauer back, Brad Hand, and Travis Darnold. And then for the Rays, we're going to be getting Chris Archer, Jerks Pro far and Mashiro Tanaka. But hey, that's straight up it. And the Indians get Clayton Kershaw. Alrighty, the Yankees get George Springer. Great, that makes my job a lot easier for the Rays too. I mean, God dang, it just doesn't stop, does it? Yankees legitimately have the infinite money cheat code. They hit that upright, upright, down, down, freaking left, right, left, right. They're just spamming A the entire time, like for real. What's going on? Also, real quick, we got a red alert for the Rays. Chris Archer does not want to come back, no matter how much I want to sign him. If I give him 14 million a year, he won't even listen. He's not interested, so he wants to go somewhere else. I think we go ahead and flip this real quick, just because it'd be too funny. Trevor Bauer, we withdraw, and we're gonna try to get Chris Archer on the Pirates. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this real quick. 14 million a year, come on, Chris. Come on, he's not interested, are you kidding me? Chris, you stupid idiot, come on, just get over here. I'll give you 15, I don't care. How much do you want? I gotta make this meme happen. 15 million a year, 120 million. You're still not interested. How about one year, $31 million? Does that sound good? I mean, come on. He's still not interested. Why? Legit why? I'm gonna go two years max contract because I want this meme to work. Legit gonna go two years max contract for Chris freaking Archer. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Couple more and there we are. Two years, $62 million. Chris, if you don't accept this, I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay, all right, well, we can't get him. Let's get Bauer back, whatever. Screw Chris Archer at this point. The man's freaking gone. Let's get the race to sign Corey Kluber. And there we go. Now we should be all right. Come on, boys. Chris Archer going to the Giants. I mean, bro, what are you gonna do? And the Dodgers get Corey Kluber. Why can't I sign anybody right now? What type of bad luck spell do I have right now? Get rid of it. Get it away from me. Jerks and Profar goes to the Giants. Okay, I could care less about Jerks and Profar right now. Come on, boys. Give me my guys back. Jake Arietta. I guess that's okay. All right, well, for the new guys, there's pretty much nobody new in the Pirates. That's really about it. There's legit nobody new except for Travis. For the Rays, on the other hand, we got my guy, Mashiro Tanaka and Jake Arrieta. Those two dudes are the new guys on the Rays. And you know what, real quick, just because I can, we're gonna go ahead and bring up Wander Franco, and we're also gonna bring up Brandon McKay. Again, just because I can, and they should be on the team in 2021 anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So Wander Franco and Brandon McKay, the new guys on the team for 2021, let's get this thing going for the final season. Let's go, baby. Right now, real quick, on June 15th, we're 41 and 32 for the Rays. What about the Pirates, though? We are 37 and 34. Wait a minute. We are not doing as good as I thought we were going to do. All right, well, that's not exactly great, but we are still two and a half games back, so it's not that big of a deal. Looks like everybody in the NL is just kind of struggling just a little bit. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're going to go ahead and keep this thing going, at least until the trade deadline. That's when we'll probably come back. And there we go. For the Pirates, that's looking a lot better. We're 61 and 49. And then for the Rays, we are 59 and 53. There we are. Okay. I mean, that's roughly what I think the Rays would be doing right now if they didn't get Austin Meadows and Tyler Glass now. But the fact that we have Christian Yelich, again, Jacob DeGrom, 
Degrom, all sorts of crazy guys, and we're still 59 and 53. Kind of shows how broken the game is a little bit. Either way, right now for the Pirates, I'm thinking we might get rid of Didi Gregorius just because we have so many lefties on this team, and we need a righty or some switch hitter or something in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and move Didi Gregorius and probably one other guy, maybe Travis Swaggerty because we're never gonna use him, or somebody insanely good at shortstop. And you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Jerickson Profar. The guy looks fantastic right now. Not to mention, you can play every single position, which is something that the Pirates do not have right now for our team. And I feel like it'd be perfect if we could actually have a guy that could play anywhere. So there we go. That's really all the trades I need to make. Let's see how we do in the second half of the season for both these teams. Let's hope that we can both make it into the postseason this time. We got so close to the Rays last year. Let's see if we could actually make it happen this year. Here we go. Pirates looking fantastic right now. Another 99 win season. And the Rays didn't even make it in this year. 90 and 72 and they still didn't make it in. Are you kidding me? The Pirates won our division, of course. But bruh, I swear to God, if it's by one game, I'm going to freak out. I swear. It's by one game, bro. Come on. That's not really freaking out because I don't freak out. But still, come on, dude. One game. That's all I ask. One game. My God, dude. Dude. Again, it seems like the tables kind of flip when Tyler Glass now and Awesome Meadows both are on the Pirates still. It seems like the Pirates end up turning out pretty solid. Now, granted, I did end up getting people like Trevor Bauer and Shane Bieber. That definitely helps too, but but still, most of this team is still the 2018 Pirates. But we got to face the Cubs again for the NLDS game one. Jameson versus Jose Quintana. Lost that one. Okay. Glass now versus Drew Smiley. Won that one. Perfect. Joe Musgrove versus Hugh Darvish for game three. Won that one. Then Trevor Bauer versus Francis. Come on, boys. Lost that one, actually. Alrighty. That's not great. And then Jameson, the last game versus Jose Quintana. Come on, boys. Let's go. There we are. 62. That's beautiful. Taking on the Dodgers now. Once again, Glass now versus Corey Kluber. Lost that one by two. Joe Musgrove versus Walker Buehler. Won that one. Perfect. One to one. For game three, Trevor Bauer versus Julio Urias. Won that one again. Perfect. Two to one. Game four, Jameson versus Dennis Santana. Wow, that's a name I've not heard for a while. And we actually won it too. Perfect. And then Tyler Glass now versus Corey Kluber. Lost that one by one. Are you kidding me? Looks like we're going back home. Joe Musgrove, Walker Bueller. Lost that one too. And then Trevor Bauer versus Julio Urias. Please, for the love of God. We lost it by one. Are you kidding me? We legitimately got 3-1. Dodgers, you guys better win this. I swear to God. Who are the Dodgers playing? Boston. Dodgers, you better win again. And the Red Sox beat them. I'm so upset, dude. I'm so upset. All right, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, leave a like on it. Again, let's go for 1,000 likes today. Hit that red subscribe button if you guys have not subscribed already. Also hit that post notification bell so you guys will be notified every time I upload. And also, again, if you guys want to see more of these, tell me that down in the comments. I'd love to read through them. And that's going to be about it. Again, hope you guys have a great yesterday. Stay safe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.